YouTube, what is going on? And today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, as you clicked on the video for, we are talking about TLC. I'm giving you guys my thoughts on it because I didn't do it last night. I didn't do predictions video on it because mostly I thought this show was pretty damn straightforward. And it majority of it was, except for one real big shocker to me. Um, we'll talk about that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and just go down the card. Um, to start off the night, they had the tag team title match. Decent match. Um... And as I would have predicted, the Wyatts won. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to say, um, that you're going to say you picked everyone. But I, I basically would have predicted the card except for one match. So, um, I even want to guess how the main event ended. But everyone did. So, um, it really isn't that big of a shock to me on some of these things. Um... But a good match. Uh, Wyatt's won with the Bray doing this crab walk type deal. And then, um, um, and then Randy hitting another KO. And then they put the belts on Luke Harper. So it's in signifying that he could be tag team champions. Maybe with Eric Rowan, I don't know how far his recovery time is. Because to my knowledge, he was supposed to be out for a long ass time. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and then we get into, um, the women's no disqualification match. I didn't mind this match up until the ending, and then I hated it. Um, so, I did not watch this show live. I was doing something, uh, with my brother. We were hanging out. So, I came home, and I watched the show pre-taped, and then, so, I really think Carmella should have won, but I thought Nikki Bella would win, um... Because I, I like Carmella. I think from a person that has not been really given the chance to... Not given the chance, but not given the chance to, I guess, hone her skills as much as probably people think she should have. At, at least wrestling-wise, because I think she's awesome on the mic. Um, But she just needs ring work badly. Um, And Nikki can't carry... She can... She, she knows... Enough to get by, in my opinion. I think she made strides when she came... When she started this fearless thing, or right around when um she wanted to, her push to become Divas Champ, I noticed that she actually was trying in aspects. So... Um... Yeah, the finish was the fucking fire extinguisher. She just kept fucking hitting her with a fire extinguisher, and what culture just was like... <sighs> And it was just mind-blowing how fucking dumb that was. How fucking dumb. And then she hits the Rack Attack 2.0, or just the TKO, as I would probably call it, honestly. Um, but, decent match. And then we got into the um, Intercontinental title match. Now, I thought this was going to be match of the night. I thought this would be a really good match. It was good. Um... I'm glad Maurice didn't get involved so it can somewhat say Miz won this match fair and square besides kicking him in the nuts, but then I think that was legal. It's legal in, in that, and he kind of left himself wide open. But there was a cool spot towards the end where Dolph didn't use his legs at all. He just climbed it with just pure strength, and I thought that was really, really neat. I've never really seen that inside of a ladder match before, and I thought that was really cool. Um... The thing that I didn't like about this show is that, granted, you can tell me I'm a piece of shit. I've been watching wrestling for ages now. Uh, I'm 19, and I've been watching it maybe since I was... Since, like, 2003, 2004, so nearly 10 to 12 years. Maybe even 2003. I have to go on the network, because I remember a lot of the shows. I was like, I remember that pay-per-view. Um, so we'll see on that, but whatever. I'm not going to sit here and get on that. But the match kind of just underwhelmed me. Um, match ended with just Miz kicking him in the nuts, um, which was kind of eh, in my opinion, but you know, it's whatever. Um, so I'm, I am shocked, um, 
to see what the mids will do now. Not shocked almost, but I'm interested because there's no face mid card that I think. Maybe Kalisto. But, um... They need to bring Sammy over or something. Maybe he gets in a feud with Mojo Raleigh. That would be in interesting because they aren't going to do anything with the tag team titles because Rhino, uh, Rhino and Heath got to get the rematch, so... Maybe do a one-month feud with Mojo Raleigh. And that would actually be cool because Miz, remember, stole the belt from Zack Ryder. So maybe something can be done there with the Hype Brothers. Or Hype Bros. And then it can be like the equal thing because Zack Ryder or Mojo Raleigh or whoever would face can equal Maurice, uh, equal the odds with Maurice being out there. So... That would be nice. I think that that that's what I would like to see. Um, but then we got into um, the chairs match. It was a good chairs match. I'll give it that. I was expecting nothing. And I got something. There were cool spots. Like when Baron Corbin just felt like, like Kalisto jumped off the top rope and just put him through like six chairs. That was pretty cool. Um, just a cool match. Really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I didn't enjoy it a lot. I, I think it was a good match. And I think it was better than the ladder match. Um, that's my opinion, though. The ladder match is kind of underwhelmed. It, they'd had some cool spots, but nothing fantastic. Um, and then got to the, um, tables match. The thing I didn't like about this match, the table speculation stipulation just seemed forced on people. And when I say that is they looked at the card and said, we don't have a tables match. Women's getting, women's getting a tables match. It just seemed forced. I didn't believe the rivalry was fierce enough for a tables match. Um... Like Sasha and um, Charlotte have, they this rivalry is intense. But you guys know my opinion on that is that Hell in a Cell, that's the end of something. That is the period, the end on something. That was it. That should have been it, and then they just continued and it was fucking annoying. But um, so it was an all right match. Um, and then the shocking ending. I did not predict it. Actually, Baron Corbin won the last match. I don't know I that I mentioned that, but um, Baron Corbin won, predicted that. Now, this was the only match that I didn't predict. I thought Becky Lynch would win. And in shocking fashion, Alexa Bliss did win. Um, that one, I didn't really believe it. Um, if I watched this live, I would have thought it was a botch. But I saw the interview with Becky and she got all upset. And then uh, she was cutting like a face promo and all that. So good for Alexa Bliss. She's very talented on the mic and she's good in the ring too. So she's honestly may be the second best um, worker on SmackDown's roster, honestly. I would probably say, yeah. For Yeah, she's the second best after Becky. So only fitting for her. My question is, where does she go from here? Probably feuding with Nikki Bell. Becky getting her rematch, which I think Becky might win. I think they did this maybe to get Becky some character. But uh, we'll know in due time. But then uh, it would be with Naomi or um, Nikki. One of the two. Um, so then we get into the match of the night. TLC... I predicted it. James Ellsworth pushes over the ladder, costing Dean the title in some fashion. I didn't think he would belligerently do it, but, you know. But his strategy on Talking Smack was just the fucking best. He said, I beat AJ Styles three times and I can do it again. <laughs> and then Daniel Bryan said the best thing. AJ Styles is going to hurt you. Dean Ambrose is going to hurt you even more. But, um, yeah, just a really good match. It, my favorite spot was when AJ did the 450 off to the outside through a table. That would have been fucking awesome. But everyone's all like, uh, 
Dean would have had this one. If Ellsworth didn't come out, AJ would have won. Because keep in mind, he was knocked out. He would have won the match. I'm just saying. I don't like to be Captain Obvious, but he would. It would have been game over. But yeah, decent show. A lot better than Survivor Series. Um, so yeah, no rant. Really. Just a good match. It was good pay-per-view. There wasn't anything outstanding besides the TLC match. The TLC match was fucking great. Um, just, but everything else was okay to good. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys thought of the TLC pay-per-view down in the comments below. I gave the, sh I didn't really do, I, don't, I didn't go in depth as I did last time with Survivor Series, but um, I give this show three out of five. Um, so, it's average. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for more Mighty Number no. Shit 9. And we'll see what else comes. Because I still, I got to record a lot of stuff. And I've been just busy with life. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.